I thank the gentleman. The gentleman from Utah is recognized. Uh, I thank the chairman. And uh, uh, to all of you, I appreciate what you do and how you do it. The, the IG community uh, is, is so important to us. And, Mr. Horowitz, I have had the good opportunity to visit with you on several occasions. And uh, your presence and expertise in your team uh, gives me great comfort that uh, we are getting to the bottom of a lot of these things. And I, I wish you Godspeed in, in everything you are doing. Um, I want to talk for a moment about uh, the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms and Explosives, the ATF. Um, we have had numerous issues with the ATF as a nation in the past. Um, there is a case, it is known as Operation Fearless. Uh, this was uh, uh, conducted in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and it was rife with uh, all sorts of problems. Uh, we had a theft of an assault rifle, uh, two handguns from the primary undercover agents, a government vehicle, the burglary of, an undercover of, of the undercover storefront, uh, recruitment uh, by ATF agents of an alleged brain damaged man to coordinate gun deals. Uh, the ATF there was paying teenagers, paying teenagers, to put uh, a rather large sized tattoo of a squid smoking a joint uh, on their body uh, to try to give some credibility to this storefront that it was uh, involved in nefarious activities. Um, there are a whole host of problems that I have with that in the, in the direction that they were going. Um, I guess what is even more troubling is that the committee became aware of some of these problems, uh, was addressed in a letter uh, from Chairman Issa uh, and some other members, uh, uh, Senator Grassley, Chairman Issa, uh, uh, Chairman Goodlatte from the Judiciary Committee. They did months later provide a response. But then in the briefing, the ATF informed the Congress that this was an isolated incident. Then on December 7th, 2013, some exceptional reporting by the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel highlighted that they were doing similar types of operations in Portland, Oregon, Wichita, Kansas, Albuquerque, New Mexico, Atlanta, Georgia, Pensacola, Florida. Are you aware of this case, and are you actively involved and engaged in, in reviewing it? Uh, I am aware of the case. I was aware initially of Operation Fearless that you indicated, and then the subsequent reporting about the broader concerns on storefront operations. Um, we have uh, initiated in our follow-up review of the Fast and Furious report a look at how the controls that supposedly have been put in place, how effective they were as to Fast and Furious issues, and also how uh, effective they have been for storefront operations like this. When the additional information was developed about further storefront operations beyond Milwaukee, um, what we have indicated to the committee, to the chair and ranking member, and to our other oversight committees is uh, we are looking at that, those issues, because there are so many, as you have indicated, to try and understand where we should be focusing our attention and our review. We have obviously limited resources, and we want to make have the greatest impact, but we are aware and we are looking at and for each of those cities as well? For the other operations, trying to get our arms around what is out there. We have asked for briefings. We have received briefings from ATF so that we can better, be better informed before actually launching the review. But we will be informing the committee um, and our other oversight committees of the steps we are going to take in, in light of this. Uh, thank you. And, and, and I, I look forward to getting those briefings and, and understanding. You know, to, to, my, to my colleagues here on the dais, I think one of the, one of the concerns here, it is an ongoing trend. Um, in Operation Fast and Furious, they, we were told numerous times that there were, there were no guns that were running. There, there were no guns that were released. Uh, they provided that in writing. They provided that verbally. And then here we have the ATF again telling us this is an isolated case. This hadn't happened. The consequence for this, how we get to the bottom of it, I don't know exactly how to do that. I don't know if somebody has suggestions, but is this a, a trend that you see? Is this some, do you have any suggestions on how we deal with that? Uh, certainly the oversight that, that is being done both in the House and the Senate is important. Our work and our putting forward the reports that we put forward and, and digging and looking for the evidence of that hopefully will be helpful to the Congress's oversight. Uh, now, you made, you made a number of, your office made a number of recommendations in the wake of Fast and Furious. Uh, where, are, where is ATF in the implementation of those recommendations? We launched our review um, in uh, late October, early November, right after the, the shutdown. 
of the one-year review and look back to, to do that. We are in the process of doing that. I am hoping in the next several months we will have a report for the committee and the public uh, about our assessment of those controls. Thank you. I yield back at zero seconds. I want uh, noted for the record. 